heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact, I blast tasteful bars and pass, I back up my actions, fact, don't ask, grab reactions, jack, attack with every word, then act with class, as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new so for excuse, I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace now, you're dead to me, so peace out, remember you're discreet now, get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kiru Show here, and now, before I do continue, I understand it's been a long time since I focused on this what if. Now, earlier today after finishing Isiki Deku, I went back to this series. And I was actually able to solve a lot of things I had planned out. And it was actually surprising to me. Since clearing off a series actually does help me clear my head. Or finishing one, I should say. Anyways, with that being said, a brief refresher for whenever we last left off. We had Izuku Midoriya participate in the sports festival for UA. Now, Deku, yeah. He was able to participate. However, he whenever he did qualify for the combat portion, Deku, he just did one simple little thing. He resigned from the fights. Now, this surprised quite a bit of people. And the reason being, Deku wanted his familia to go all out and try their hardest. However, if they do just knock out their boss, then they won't really feel up to competing, or competing for the rest of it, since their boss is basically holding back, and it basically is not fun. Now, during a fight, Endeavor, after Todoroki did begin to use his flames, he tried to goad on Todoroki, encouraging him the wrong way, while Deku, he took out Endeavor by freezing him solid in ice. Now, the fight did continue, and we actually do pick up with about a week later, where everybody, they're currently sitting in class and going over what to do. Everybody is going over internships, and well, there is Todoroki and Bakugo, who they do actually rank as two of the top three. And then there is Deku, who is rank number three. Now. It was quite surprising. Everybody were kind of confused. However, Aizawa, he did explain it. Izuku Midoriya using an element fire, he was able to somehow use ice. And he incapacitated the number two hero without really using violence. Now, he does talk about how this feat alone would possibly even consider or give him the most votes. However, there was the flashness of both of their quirks, Bakugo and Todoroki's, which did sort of overshadow Deku. Now, Aizawa, he would have actually praised Deku about his use of his quirk, talking about how he was careful about civilians nearby and all around him, along that he didn't just toy around with Endeavor. Now, we actually do have Deku, who he actually is just standing there and at least thing Mr. Aizawa, before going to sit down and look over many of the internship requests he does have. Now, we actually do have Reborn, who he is currently messaging Deku, and he's informing Deku about something. Deku, he already knows exactly which internship, quote unquote, he will have to take. However, that's not re what Reborn is currently messaging him about, as Deku's name is called over the intercom. Now, this is quite a surprise, as Deku does head towards Mr. Nezu's office. As he does arrive, Deku, he is sitting there, and you do actually have Mr. Nezu and All Might. And Deku is quite confused, as he does just think that All Might being here is pretty bad. Now, 
Mr. Nezu, he does begin to start speaking with Izuku. As he's asking him a few things. Particularly about his quirk and exactly what happened at the sports festival. Now. There is then where Mr. Nezu, he does actually ask Izuku Midoriya, how does he know, I believe the name was, Professor Boren? Now, Deku is quite confused, as he does just stare at Mr. Nezu. Hmm? Professor Boren? Uh, yes, Professor Boren. That man himself. He is a very intelligent man. Apparently, his company, or technological company, they do wish to speak with you. And possibly even examine your hero gauntlets. Oh, my, my gloves. Okay, um, yes, I understand. Mr. Bourne, well, he was somebody I ran into once. And he did tutor me for a brief period. I see, that must be why your grades are so high. Uh, yes, yes. Mr. Bourne, he has a bit of ways of teaching. It's kind of intense. Now, Deku is not making that part up. His grades were already high. However, reborn when they did focus on that, he made sure Deku could focus. Now, there actually is where Nezu, he does get to stand up and grab something that's currently sitting on his desk, talking about how Mr. Bourne dropped this off for him earlier today. Nezu handing Deku a small box as Deku does look down at it. Hmm? Wait, what is this? Now, Deku is looking at the size and shape of it. It's a relatively large but small and thin box. It's... no, oh no, shit. Did Reborn really just buy him a switchblade? You can't be serious. Now, Deku does just go to put the box in his pocket, telling Mr. Well, Nezu, that he really does appreciate this, and he'll open it later. Hmm? Young man, I believe you should open it now. He did specify that the matter, or the box, it would be brought up in this matter. Hmm? Really? Deku is going to pull open the box as it is going to angle it away from Nezu and go to open it. As he does see, well, a key. Hmm? Now, Deku does reach in and go to pick it up. As he does see something else on it. As it's on a keychain. Uh, okay. Now, Deku is quite confused. As he does go to grab something that's inside, as a piece of plastic does go and fall out. Now, Deku, he does look down, reaching down and picking up this piece of plastic as he does flip it over and see that it's a driver's license. Hmm? Wait, what the hell? Now, Deku does go to open the piece of paper, as it's from Vangola 9. Now, Deku does read the paper, as it does talk about how he is very impressed and would like to award Vangola 10 for his leadership skills. Along with that, even the fact that he does stand up for his familia. The way he does treat them is good. The bonds they have are very strong, and he would like to award him for his hard work. Now, Deku does read all of that. As he does, go to put this piece of paper back together and shove it in his pocket. Looking up at the key and license. As it does click in his head very quickly. They bought him a fucking car. Now, Deku does look up at Mr. Nezu. Uh, Mr. Nezu, this is... Well, I mean... Yes, I understand the circumstance. Right now, the vehicle is currently in the parking lot, and we would like you to move it. Now, Deku, he does go stand up and apologize to Mr. Nezu, talking about how he wasn't aware of this. Hmm? No, young Mr. Midoriya, it's quite alright. 
In fact, we were kind of sprung on this in the last minute. Mr. Bourne informed us that this was a surprise gift. Hmm? Really? Yes. It appears that your connection with that man is quite strong. Mr. Bourne is a good man to have in your corner. Trust me. I have competed against him many times. He's one of the few people who are able to beat me in a game of chess. Really? Yes. Now. I would like you to move the vehicle whenever school is on lunch, and that would be the best time. You will be out of class, along with that you will not cause a disturbance currently. Alright, now, Deck would head back to class, as people that do see him walk back in and go to sit down. As Deku, he does, at least, go to fill out the forms he does need to. And everybody, they do as well. As we actually have our class, it does break for lunch. And Deku, he actually is holding up the keychain that he was given. As he just does try to think, why would they get him a car? Are you kidding me? Vangola 9 is, well, a mafia boss. But he bought him a car? Just because he was doing a good job? This is crazy. He can't accept this gift. Now, people they actually come walking over. As you do actually have Kendo, who does ask him exactly if he's alright. Deku going to grab the keychain key as he does bolt up into his fist. Hmm? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Her going to lean in a bit close, asking him exactly why did he go to the office. Hmm? Uh, apparently Vangola 9 bought me a gift. Hmm? Really? Yeah, he bought me a car. He bought you a car? No. People who were going to pack up and leave do turn to see Deku and Kendo. As Deku does bring his hand up saying, shush. He got you a car? You can't even drive yet, can you? Well, that's the thing. Deku going to reach into his pocket as it is, but as he does, pull out the license, talking about how apparently a mafia boss does have connections. Now, it is quite intriguing. As Deku does talk about how he does have to go move it. I would have come with you. Now, Deku, he does just look at her. Alright, sure. Now, Deku does go to walk out of UA, as he does go to walk off the campus or onto the campus parking lot, where he does see some vehicles and, well, some bikes. Now, Deku does remember the number that he was given, as he does find the row and then start walking down. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, wait, 40. Now, Deku, he does look at the, well, vehicle that's sitting there. Well, that's not a car. Now, Deku does just hold the key. As Kendo does ask if this is it. Uh, I don't know. It's in the right space. Wait, is that what I think it is? That seriously can't be it. It's a V9 Moto Guzzi. A what? Okay, it's a Moto Guzzi, and it's a really, really good bike. The engine on it's a V9. Along with that, there's the fact that it's a very rare model nowadays because of how old they are. Hmm? What do you mean? These bikes are over... What, 200, 300 years old? The simple fact that you have the key to one is amazing. Now, Deku does watch as Kendo, she does look on and awe. As Deku does go to put the key in and go to turn it. Now, Kendo does stop him and inform that he's got it all wrong. As she does go to hop on, pull down the clutch, and turn the key. As she does start the bike and then put it in neutral. Huh, you're pretty good at that. Yeah, I'm a bit of a, well, I don't know what you could call it, really. I think the right word would be a greaser. Hmm? Greaser? Yeah, I know a lot about bikes. In fact, well, just looking at this one, I've always wanted to try driving an Italian model. A Italian? Yeah, these bikes are Italian. Oh, that explains it. Now. Deku, yeah. 
he does is talk about how he's never been on a bike before, let alone known how to drive. Now, Kendo does ask if she can drive it for right now, and Deku does talk, just look around. Well, there are on school grounds. And there's no heroes nearby, but maybe they can. Now, Deku, yeah. He does just get on the bike with Kendo, as she is going to show him how it's done. Them driving around the parking lot as they do actually go to head for a street. Kendo hopping off as Deku to scoot forwards and she just hop on behind him. Now, she does talk about how they really should be careful with this. Yeah, maybe you're right. Now, Deku does go over everything. Okay, here we are. Okay, Vangola's super intuition, please do not fail me now. Now, Deku does go to start the bike, putting it in first gear as they do drive out of the parking lot. And Deku, he does go to push in the clutch as shift into second gear. Now, Kendo is actually quite surprised. As Deku and her, they actually do go driving around at a bit of a high speed. Now, they do this for about 30 minutes. Before, yeah, they eventually do get caught by a hero, and he does inform them that they need to return that bike. And Deku, he would just go to pull out the note, as he does pull a paper out from behind it, and hand it over to the hero, as it does show that this is his bike. Now, the hero does at least scold this guy for not wearing a helmet, since he does recognize him from the UA broadcast. Now, Deku would talk about how he'll return to school. And yeah, Deku and Kendo do return back to UA. As Deku, he does get to park the bike in a different spot. At least in the corner of the parking lot where not really a lot of cars are. And they do walk back inside and try to enjoy the rest of lunch. Now, everyone did notice that these two disappeared. As they wondered what happened. As Deku does talk about how he got his motorcycle now. Now, they're all quite surprised. And a little bit jealous. As Deku does look to Momo and ask her if she can do him a favor. Hmm? A favor? Yeah, um, I know it might be a bit much to ask since I don't know if you'd be able to do it, but do you think you can make me a helmet? Hmm? A helmet? Yeah, like a motorcycle helmet. Those things are kind of pricey right now, and I don't have a lot of cash, but could you make me one, please? Uh, sure. That's actually a pretty... Hmm. Now, Momo's quite curious. She's never really tried making something like that with her quirk. Something like armor. You've just given me a good idea. Did I? Yes, thank you. I'll make your helmet whenever I can, but it'll be a bit of time. I need to look it up. Now, Deku, he would understand. As the rest of the day does go by, and you actually have the at the end of class, where Momo does hand over to Deku a black bicycle, well, bleh, a bat, mm, a black motorcycle helmet. As she does tell him that this was actually pretty fun. Hmm? Was it? Yeah, actually. I haven't really gotten very many opportunities to make something like that. It did challenge my quirk a little bit, and along with that, well, I do think that you've given me some ideas. Hmm? Yeah. Like, what is it? If we ever do get in a into a situation where we have no armor or we have no gear, I can make it for us. Along with that, think about it. I could just create a piece of armor or make a shield. I could do it back during the festival. Oh, that's a good idea. Now, we actually do have our Deku and Bomo. They're both still talking. As we do actually have Kendo, who does at least stare at those two as she's going to pack up her stuff. Now, she is happy that she was able to teach Deku what he needed to, but he did figure it out quite quickly. That whole super intuition thing he does have. It might actually be a quirk. Now, 
there is one of her Dan Kiyakshas go walking past her and he does look up towards her. As he does look towards the two. Hey, you know you could just talk to him, right? Uh, what? I mean, yeah, come on. Don't you like him or something? Denki, shut up. Whoa, hang on, come on. I'm just trying to help. Well, maybe I don't need your help. Everything of that? Besides, I'm not really too sure. Hmm? Too sure of what? Never mind, I shouldn't even really be talking to you about this. Hey, whoa, come on. Ah. Are we supposed to train t later tonight? Yes, we are. All of us are. So, how about you just shut up for right now? <sighs> yeah. Deku, he would actually have turned his head to see that conversation. As Momo would as well. Yeah. Deku, yeah. He does feel a bit bad for Momo, since she did have to stay after class, or at least a little bit longer to make the helmet. And he does ask her if he could do anything for her. As she does just say no. As she does do one thing. She does talk about how she did at least create another one. Since, well, it's not as perfect, but it should also be usable. Yeah. She does hand it over to Deku talking about how he should give somebody else a ride. As she has turn around quickly to run off. Now, as that does happen, Deku does just look down at that. Hmm? She made two? Now, he's quite confused. He only asked for one. Now, he does just think that this might be a spare helmet. However, at the same time, he also is trying to go off of something. Now, we actually have where Kendo is walking down the hallway, as Momo does actually catch up to her and we do pat Kendo on the back. Hmm? Momo, hey, I did you a bit of a favor. Hmm? Favor? Yeah, you owe me. Now, Momo does just tell Kendo to stop right here, as she does go running off. Now, Deku he does walk out of class, as he does try on the one helmet. And then look at the other one. Now. You do actually have where Deku he does look down the hallway to see Kendo. Oh, he gets it. Now. There actually is later in the parking lot. Where Kendo does talk about how he doesn't really have to do this. Hmm? What do you mean? You don't have to drive me home. What are you talking about? You taught me how to drive a bike. The least I could do is give you a ride. <laughs> Maybe. But still, now, Kendo, Kendo, she would go to hop on, as Deku, he does go to pull the bike out backwards, and then go to put the bike down in first, as they do go moving forwards. Now, Deku would have drove her home, as he does head back home himself, and park the bike. Now, Deku would pull out the key as he does go to get off the bike, as Reborn does ask him, if he does enjoy the gift, hmm? Deku will look him to see Reborn. Hmm? Yeah, I do. But it's a bit much, don't you think? Hmm? Not really. You were able to figure it out. Nine will be impressed. Huh? Really? Yes, he will be. He'll also be quite happy to know that you accepted it. Wholeheartedly. Hmm? Reborn, I wouldn't really say accepted. It's more like I kind of took it. Hmm? Well, I do understand the confusion. However, you should be proud. Nine doesn't offer many things like this, so you should enjoy it. Really? Yes. However, you also need to get ready for later tonight. We will be training a bit harder than usual. Hmm? Really? Yes. You're familiar they've gotten through the right channels. The hero associations they're going up against, they're all part of the Mafia. And in fact, they're fronts we do have, out in the open. In truth, you'll actually be training together. Meaning that none of you will really have to be separated. What? 
Yes, yes. Now, with that being said, there is also a bit of a problem. Hmm? What is that? I believe that we are under surveillance. What? Now, Ibuntu is going to bring his hand up, telling Dakudu, shush. For right now, they need to just go about the regular business and not say a word about that. Now, with that being said, Deku would head up to his apartment, as he does try to think about what Reborn did just say. Anyway guys, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing night. Catch you guys in the next part.